Hi, I'm Wynn Dunwell. There's lots of different types of pruners, and what I'm going to discuss today was learned at a professional training for nurserymen who work in the field on a daily basis on how to care for your pruners. So the first thing is buy a quality pruner, and I'm not putting out any particular brand, but in that I'm left-handed, I'm limited in the number of types of pruners I can get. But normally, most professionals use a scissors type pruner. And as I'm looking at this pruner, it's kind of sticky, a little sticky. So when that happens, all of a sudden you find yourself putting your fingers behind it to get it open. And it sh shouldn't be that way. It should always be that you do this. Okay, so we want to get that sticky off. The first way most professionals do, they just take their pocket knife and they scrape it off. No cleaner, no special, nothing special, just scrape it off. You could use whatever kind of tool you have that could scrape that sticky off. And once you get it off, it should take care of that problem. It should be like that. And if it's not, we can take a little tube of oil or any kind of oil, light oil, and we can put a drop on that hinge and that should finish it up. If you get enough goo, different types of latex type plants, you can get to the point where you have to take the pruners apart and clean them from the beginning to end. But that's not the case here with most woodies. So now that I've got it lubricated, everything's in good shape, we want it to be sharp. So I use a stone. Well, stones do break when you drop them in the parking lot, so. But you still, this little piece is adequate for me to, to sharpen. And I always use the original manufacturer's bevel, whatever that was. And I just take that little piece of stone and I rub, rub it to sharpen. Okay, so that's, that's about all I do. So we've loosened it up, we've sharpened it, and we can maybe put a little clean up on this, which might have some burrs on it, just in case, to make sure we cut it nice and clean. Now we're not gonna talk about adjustments or anything like that. We want a clean, lubricated pruner that we don't have to stick our fingers under. The next step is I use alcohol. So we have here 70% isopropyl alcohol. Just spray the pruner. Let it dry and we're good to go. Now you will hear a lot of different methods for doing what we just did but you can go online and look up orchard pruning for fire blight and you will find how to sanitize your pruners and keep them clean between cuts so you don't spread it within the tree or from tree to tree. I'm Wynn Dunwell, thank you very much.